Just recently, Shadical uploaded a new video on his channel. He finally responded to the allegations that came out about him nearly two years ago. Turns out, the allegations were completely false. Which is why, at the time you're watching this, I've privated my Shadical video, because the information in it is just not true. I feel pretty bad for Shadical because some people were spreading these false allegations around, and a lot of people, including me, believed it. And this basically ruined his reputation and made him seem like a horrible person. And you might be wondering, well, if the allegations are false, what about that audio clip that got leaked out? I mean, what really ha like, like I said before, like, you know, it was about underage girls and, you know, like I said that, you know, underage girls got involved and I was being reckless. And, you know, you know, like I told you I had like pictures on my phone and, um, I think I told you I got a fan involved at one point. And, um, trying to think, you know, when, she, when Sarah was under the influence of, you know, when she was drinking, sometimes I'd force her to have sex with me. Well, it turns out that was actually taken from a larger conversation, just with all the context removed. And also, Shadical has never actually met up with his girlfriend in person. To this day, he still doesn't know what she looks like. If you want to hear Shadigal's entire response, you should go watch the video he posted on his channel, because it was actually a really good video. Anyway, sorry that this video isn't that long, I just wanted to make it clear that Shadigal didn't do anything wrong, and that the allegations were completely false.